OZ racing wheels, never really seen exhaust like that. And there is the airlift tank, forge induction kit there, red and black say belts in there. And look at this latest addition to his bath as well. Now, do you guys actually like each other or are you kind of rivals? You can kind of see the carbon fibre effect there. Rare limited edition 595. Put that red leather interior in the sunshine. Tunsu bath. This one's also rocking a party hat. Rainbow coloured grill lash rear. Never seen that before. Hi guys, welcome back to another video back on the Driven 24-7 Automotive YouTube channel. Today you join us at the Bath Meet here at Revo's Hub. So today's meet is being held by Bad Abath South Coast and they are a local bath group here. I did recently film here before, a couple of months ago, but today they're back at Revo's Hub to celebrate their second birthday. Sun's out, big turnout so far, so let's take a look around at all the Abaths here so far. We've actually got some Fiat's here too, so let's take a look around. So Revo's Hub in itself in there is absolutely packed around. Ready. Then outside, we've got Forge Motorsport here, and we've got a load of other baths filling up the road as well. So we have this nice Chicento or Chicacento, however you say it here. I've seen this car before, but here it is today. And again, it's nice to not just have a bath here, but I really like seeing this car every time I see it. It's just really cool and retro and nicely modified. So that is placed next to the Revo's hub sign out the front here. Pound 100 horsepower here, which I believe belongs to one of the admins. So you would have seen this in the previous video. Some of these cars you might have seen already in the uh, previous video I did from the last Bad Bath event I went to, but you know, we've got loads more here this time, that's for sure. Got the nice Italian coloured balloons there. We've got a couple of baths here. So this one, first of all, looks like a 595. You got the multi spoke wheels in there in black, the red Brembo calipers, the white stripes. You also got the sea belts in that looks like half leather, same as my parents have in theirs. They're in their car today here, by the way. Got another Competizione. This one was here last time as well, again with the black multi spoke wheels. This one, which I am a fan of, has got the tan brown uh, say belt seats in there. Again, half leather, look very nice. The carbon backs on there. And then holding on to the flag. We have this 595 Turismo with a very good number plate on the front. And I think this one's also going to be a Turismo. I'm just skimming past these two because I definitely got them on film in the last video. This very clean black bath belongs to Sammy, one of the founders uh, slash admins of the group. So looking very clean in black because black is very hard to keep clean. It's looking very good here. Modified 595 Competizione. So we've got the yellow above logo lettering in the front with the yellow splitter covered there. Also got the uh, carbon fiber logo bar they call them with a nice badge overlay matching the color of the car. Also got a nice above sun strip there. The multi-spoke alloys with the yellow rim blade protectors on. Good idea. This car's got quite a bit of carbon as I would have just shown you already. The nicer bar stripe there with the Italian colours on the end, I like that a lot. Also got the carbon fibre door handles, the pillars there. Looks like it's got a really nice spoiler extension as well, but actually in body colour. Then onto the rear, we've obviously got the record Monza exhaust on this car here. With the yellow splitter, the yellow scorpion in the back there at the bottom as well. Carbon fibre slatted inserts, I actually quite like those. We've also got another carbon fibre bash round with the bath overlay there and more carbon fiber surrounding the number plate really really like this really liking the spoiler as well very nice car indeed podium blue turismo here with the tan leather i used to have that one of my series three turismos and that i owned liking the red inserts on this one the mirrors and we've got the red little touches on the front end with another red and black bath bash overlay again holding on to another one of the bad bath flags here at the meet and then next to this one we have a Punto bath, the white on white, really like these. I've always liked the Punto bath, I've just never had the uh, luxury of driving one I suppose, but I just like the look of them. 3D, 4D, I don't know, no one plates on there. Nice clean tailpipes. Oh, it's an SS of course it is because you've got the uh, white wheels as well. So I don't know if that's like a standard spoiler or spoiler extension, but yeah. I do like the Punto bus. Do you guys? Let me know in the comments below. This was a standout car from the last meet I went to, so I definitely got this one on the video and I have to do it again because it's a rare limited edition 595 Scorpiano or Scorpion edition. So you get the black and the gold wheels. And nice to see this again for sure with the paint shining in the sun here. Yeah, very nice. I love it. We have Teddy here and here's a bath. I used to work with Teddy and nice seeing his car. Again, he's one of the admin members of the Bowder Bath group. He has number plated it and I believe he spent a little while cleaning this car up for this meet here today. But yeah, nicely modified a bath. Looking good. Series 3 Competizione, but what I like about this one the most is you don't really see these kind of seats that much. But we have got the two-tone red and black say belts in there. I mean, oh, what a combination. 
very nice series 3 comp here. Another Competizione here in the bi-colour, the red and grey. Also really liking these wheels, haven't seen these on in a bath before but they look like they're nicely spaced as well giving the car some nice stance. We've got the Italian flags sticker in on the spoiler there and also I'm a big fan of the panoramic roof. Yeah, liking those wheels. And a cool number plate as well, kind of spell on the bar. Now this I don't think I saw last time because I would have remembered this one. So we have got a massive spoiler on the rear, the Scorpions either side I believe. Again the wheels look spaced, the car looks lowered, you got the uh, tinted kind of crystal rear lights there. So Magneti Morelli exhaust looks like it's on the rear as well and one big tail bike either side. Still got the chrome work on. Another badge overlay to match the uh, colour of the car really. It's also got a spoiler extension. Maxon design extensions on the side there. More of the badge overlays matching the colour of the car. Got the gloss black mirrors there. This kind of smoked side repeaters. Also a vented bonnet which is really cool. Also got a gloss black front splitter on there. And again you have the matching badge overlays on the centre caps on the wheels. Pretty cool. Red calipers peeking through also. We have Daryl here in his bath. He used to come to my meets back in the day so really nice to catch up with him. He looks like he's got a 50-50 splitter on there. I thought he was actually missing a bit but I like that actually. It's like a half and a half so that's really really cool. Daryl's car always looks clean whenever I see it and it's nice to see him and have a catch up with him today here. And he's also got a nice spoiler extension on the rear as well. Bicolour, two-tone here, Competizione, the Competizione wheels on there as well. I like the different colours, actually, that is a red carbon fibre front split we got on there as well. You can kind of see the carbon fibre effect there on the front split. That's really cool, I haven't seen one like that before. With the red above lettering in the group. And we have a really cool Italian whip sticker on the rear window. Red bath here kind of half in the shadows we've got nice carbon fiber rear light inserts on the rear as well also got the nice above sun strip on the front with a little scorpion on the bonnet too and the white grill lettering nice to have a couple of above 124s here i'm very jealous and miss mine a hell of a lot this one definitely looks like it's been lower though like in the number plate on the rear we've also got a nice exhaust on the rear as well featuring and lovely panoramic roof so i'm really liking this above it has been debashed at the rear but inside we have the forge induction kit there of the red pipe work. Got the smoked side indicators. I also really like the side stripes on this because they're red but with a black background. I haven't really seen that done before and I like it. Big fan of when I arrived and saw a Fiat 500 heavily modified. First of all, we got the Gary Scale sun strip and a nice little slogan down the bottom saying it's her car and not his. So definitely a girl driving this. I've actually spoke to the lady who owns this car as well. Uh, the car is pretty low, I thought it was on coilovers, but actually it's on airlift suspension, I'll show you that in a minute. Also got some nice carbon touches such as the carbon fibre wing mirrors, carbon fibre door handles, the lady's Instagram that I've now definitely added. Got the carbon fibre uh, rear light inserts there as well, and there is the airlift tank in the boot. They actually fitted it between themselves over a couple of days, but yeah, really cool to see airlifted Fiat 500. And I've also got the nice matte black Japan racing wheels on there as well. Just really love this so much. This comp here with the red bath grill lettering in the front. Also got the competition wheels in there with the red Brembo's poking through. And this one's actually opted for the leather seats in there. So very comfy. Turismo Tony is here again. So just had a little catch up with him and his bath is actually placed right outside the actual meet. So that's pretty cool. And look at this latest addition to his bath as well. He's gone for the 695 anniversary lifted spoiler, but he's actually done the letter in like outlined in white. Tony, I am a massive fan. That is, oh, love it, love it, love it. We have a rare 695 Paposto here as well. I believe I've seen this car before. Also have Adrian's car. Uh, so he came with Turismo Tony to my me, and here's Adrian's car. We just looked around Tony's believe I've seen this one before but we've literally got the Abasa Evera at the moment. This one's quite nice with the multi-spoke wheels, nice and spaced. Looks lowered as well with the red checkered roof, big fan of that. Then we've got this nice grey one, we've got the Italian flag in the grill there, the yellow lettering in the grill as well. But yeah, this is baths absolutely everywhere. This isn't even Revo's and they're parked here. Competizione here again with the multi-spoke wheels in there, the red Brembo's. There's just so many cars here, you can see there. We've also got a drone up in the sky as well. We have the Bicolor Rivali. I think I might have seen this one here last time, but always a big fan of seeing these. We've got another red above, nice black and glitter sticker overlay as well. Quite a fan of these wheels actually on the Series 3, very nice. 
Nice little fleck going on in the sunshine. Yamaha Monster Edition here. My dad didn't bother cleaning the bath today, but you know, they're here at the end of the day. There we go. Got a nice 595 Trofeo here as well. Very cool plate with the bath letter in the grill and the Italian flag down below. Really liking this one, liking the grey and orange. Don't really see that combo too much. Also got the Italian coloured scorpion on the bonnet. It's the bath's looking very clean. I like the number plate on that one. Y7 guy. Got a convertible path here, looking very clean in the black. Again, got the full lights around, seems to be a popular thing here nowadays. The white lettering in the grill, red splitter down below. Got the red rim blades on there, and you've got the black convertible soft top. Got a nice pista edition with a great number plate for me, A and B. You've got the 595 pista bash there. Record monster on the rear, we've got the podium blue and yellow, which I really like this combo. Semi edition 595 badge on the rear wing. So I'm really liking this Turismo. Also loving the red above leather interior. There's more of the lettering in the grill there. Another Competizione red and white combo. Don't really see this kind of combo much and I like it. The Italian flag in the grill there. And we've got the white splitter with the Italian coloured scorpion in the bottom there. Saw this one last time, another Yamaha Monster Energy Edition 595. A lady owns this one, so yeah, nice to see her in this car again. And my favourite colour, but not too many of them here, we have a yellow 595 Competizione. Liking the mud flaps as well, I like them. Got the gloss black mirrors and the gloss black stripes on the bonnet, that's pretty cool. 595 Turismo here. I'm not sure what the exhausts are, but I've never really seen exhausts like that. So this is also convertible the roof is pretty much open could go down a bit more this one's got the leather interior got the carbon fiber effect mirrors and the gloss black wheels on this car are very very my shadow mirrors out of the way clean indeed italian striping in the bonnet with the podium blue kind of uh, inserts there and the white lettering on the grill so i'm a big fan of this competizione because it's got the gray with the yellow we've got the black multi spoke wheels and the yellow brembos and it's a convertible and we've got the tan save out seats in there got the yellow and black badge there black logo bar yellow fog lights around got the lovely tan seats there the convertible roofs bit open there as well and then we've got the black 595 badge yellow side stripes and a really nice wheel another badge overlay the logo bar at the back has been painted black so the badges this red competition has got a fair bit going on so we've got the carbon fiber number plate um logo bar there carbon fiber plates around the italian uh, flag on the boot there aquapovic exhaust system there one big exit either side the wheels look like they've been spaced but i wouldn't say the car's been lowered Nice carbon fibre mirrors. I think I've seen this one before, but I'm giving it a bit of time video because I really, really like it. And then we've got the carbon fibre front end on there as well. So again, I think I've seen this one before. Letter in in the front there. Gloss black splitter. Just go around it quickly. Gloss black wheels. Bath sun strip. And the thing I remember the most about this car, we've got the Italian coloured spoiler there on the rear. Competizione at the back here. We've got the seat belt toe strap there. Nice plates. And we've got the bay open a bit. So we've got a forge induction kit there. Um, we've got a forged kind of carbon fibre, I don't know, en engine cover up there. Forged turbo blanket there. The red piping, really nicely done. Also got the seatbelt seats in this car. We've also got a carbon fibre bar with the net in, the mesh. This was something I would have done to my bar if I kept it long enough, so I like the look of this. This above here has got another panoramic roof. And this one's also got the tan leather interior. Uh, I really like those wheels. I used to have those wheels on my uh, last bike I had, which was my Trofeo, so a big fan of what I call the petal wheels. This one's also rocking a party hat, and we've got the convertible roof there, leather interior, very nice. Party hat above, I'm calling it, has actually got rainbow coloured grill lettering. I've never seen that before, I love it. This one's rocking the gold number plates around, you've got the red leather in that one. Uh, this one's pretty cool, so in my favourite colour, of course, the yellow. So we've got the vented bonnet there, OZ racing wheels, the yellow Brembo's poking through. We've also got vented front wings by the look. We've got the side skirt additions there, gloss black mirrors, this one's pretty modified. The uh, blacked out side repeaters there, a bit of carbon fibre goodness on the pillars, a uh, black roof. Got a yellow spoiler extension, it's nice that that's body coloured. Uh, we've got the uh, different coloured badges there. It's got upgraded, looks like LED front headlights as well. Uh, carbon fibre front ends with the splitter in that. Yes, yeah, it's very nice. The OZ racing wheels look really nice. I like this car a lot. Also, we've got the seat belts there, the half leather inside. 
and I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a custom painted kind of dashboard we got going on inside as well. Another convertible here, really liking the silver wheels. Just don't really see many standard kind of looking at bar spot. I'm complimenting it like this. This has also got the black convertible roof, also a leather interior. Got another red competition here with the black multi-spoke wheels. Got the carbon fibre mirrors on there. I see these wheels have been spaced out because it's given the car a nice stance. More bath lesser in on this one in the grill, the Italian flag in there as well. Got another Punto bath here hiding in the corner also. Another nice series three here looking nice and clean. Another podium blue, red lettering in the grill like in the blue and red, that's quite nice. But a little Italian flag on the front. Definitely got a few red baths here and here's another one. And I remember seeing this modified bath at the last meet but here it is again. It's got the magnetic Morelli exhaust system on the rear. Another convertible with the black soft top. We've got the red scorpion on the bonnet, Italian colouring on the front splitter, with the white above lettering, and look at that red leather interior in the sunshine with the roof open, just oh, beautiful. Then I saw this car here last time at the Bad Above meet, that was here at Revo's last time. We've got the rare 695 Anniversario edition here, and this one looks like a Turismo with the wheels on there, the uh, tan leather seats, this one. And I'm liking the lettering in the grille because it's actually done in purple. Haven't seen the purple, but it goes well with the grey. Nice matching the uh, badge overlay on the front, and uh, yeah. So, quite a lot of filming has happened out the front here because there are just so many baths here, just absolutely everywhere. Martin, say hello. Hi. Martin's here. And my parents are here somewhere. We've seen their bath already. Oh, Driven 24 7, Cam. Hello. Now, do you guys actually like each other or are you kind of rivals because you've got similar cars? Just as nicer than yours. <laughs> how are you, Tony? All right? I'm good. How are you? Teddy, all right? Yeah, not bad. Bad of baths, second birthday at Revo's Hub. Yes, indeed. So, you've got my car over there and then you've got a copy of my car over in the far corner. <laughs> Centre show at the front. <laughs> I Getting all the there. votes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've been, you haven't been bribing people, have you, Tony, at all? I haven't, no, but I know I've at least got 10 votes. And he's had people in the back of his car, so he's probably got 20. <laughs> well, but well, nice to see. <laughs> but yeah, um, I've got your car on camera again, Tony, because you're always moaning. You're always avoiding me. Yeah, and uh, Teddy too, but nice to see you guys. Brilliant. Yeah, good to see you. Okay, so we're about to head off in a minute from uh, the Bad Above meet here at Revo's Hub. As I say, we were here last time doing a video. We had technical difficulties. My camera let me down but we're on a different camera today so hopefully the video will be better quality the amount of cars here bigger turnout than last time but as we said at the start of this video this is uh, bad above second year anniversary their second year birthday really big turnout loads of cars here modified baths not modified we've got some fiat's here as well and i've also bumped into some of my bath friends as well i hope you've enjoyed this video well done to bad above for holding a great event here at revo's hub thanks for watching see you in another video